Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm a legal mist, and we have my wife here today to pull some shards for the guaranteed white king. Uh, I don't even know what his name is. Ancora, Narcis. Yeah, that's the queen. She's Ancora or whatever. Um, we are on my clanmate Will's account. Uh, huge shout out to you for letting us pull shards for you. I have my shards after, and a couple others as well. So we're gonna hop right into it. You wanna? I guess you can slide up. You wanna? We're gonna pull until we get the that dude. So. Once you see 110. that, hundred and ten. Yeah, hundred and ten. Okay, and then we might get some other champions. Yeah, in the mix. Yeah, so we, we wanna, hope that we will. Yeah, and he said I think his mercy was at a hundred or something like that. So Out of how you can many? keep pulling. Um, it was well two twenty. You're guaranteed to get a legendary. So okay, so it feels like there's good odds that we'll get at least one. Yeah, so hopefully we get at least one. Starting off with an epic basher. Pretty good for a lockout if you don't have any of the meta lockout champions. I'd love to get a mythical on my account. I haven't gotten one yet. But uh, Crixia, I've seen some pretty pretty crazy stuff with her. Paragon, Coldheart, both great champions. Oh. Ooh, early Lego, and it's a Warlord. We love to see I it. I literally was just we talking about to see it. lockout champions. So we got to check to see if he has him, but... The reason Warlord's so good, he has this attack all enemies, 100% chance when booked of putting their skills on cooldown. But the other thing that I think is like super underrated about this skill, it has a, what is it, 50, 60% chance of fully depleting each target's turn meter, which is just crazy because um, like I always get locked out by him. And if you don't have enough accuracy to resist the skill cooldown, you're probably going to also have your turn meter depleted. And you're kind of going to be screwed. So let's see. I really, really hope he doesn't have him. Uh, Warlord is in the Orcs faction. And he doesn't. So that is a new champion. And so you're welcome. A huge, <laughs> huge pull. So we are starting off strong. I would love a Warlord on my account as well. That is fantastic. And the best part about it, um, along with all of these guaranteed champion events, we have... 90 more shards to pull, and worst case, his mercy is going to be at 90. So this is already starting off great. So I'm super <laughs> hyped about that. Good vibes from yeah, the get-go. Yeah, good vibes. Oh, and by the way, I know it's been a while since we've posted a video. I'm sorry. Uh, my wife just had our baby. So we have our little baby, Juliet. Um, she was born, what, two weeks and two six and days weeks. ago or something. <laughs> Um, so if you hear any squeaks in the background, <laughs> yeah, if you hear any squeaks, she's she's down for a nap, and I was like, all right, we gotta we gotta make at least this shard pull video so that people can uh, live vicariously through us. But <laughs> um, yeah, it was pretty funny actually. The guaranteed fatalis uh, shard pull, we were literally like in the hospital, and I was like, oh, you know, I kind of want this guy because I don't have any HP nukers on my account. So she's like asleep. It was I don't know two in the morning or something, and I like pulled shards i don't even remember what i got from it other than him but yeah i went for that one and <laughs> top priority yeah it watching. was literally i was like you know you're a little bit addicted to the game when you're pulling them like you're like all right well, is the baby asleep okay yeah let me <laughs> let me do this real quick towering titan i don't think he has any sorts of uses another cardinal she is great for the uh stone skin kind of uh, put her in stone skin, everyone dies, she revives. I don't have one on my account. I would like one just for kind of some meme teams. Aboro, um, I think she's a decent mischief tank for lower level Hydra, but she kind of gets outscaled uh, the more you play. So we've gotten a decent bit of epics so far. And of course that, that meta, meta <laughs> legendary, which is super awesome. Oh man. I'm uh Well I'm glad that we got one good yeah, yellow one. We're because, starting off strong because honestly, like literally, if we don't pull another gold, I don't think he'll be upset because he'll be primed one. for another like a 10x or uh 15x for a champion. So keep it going. We have the uh baby on the monitor, so Laura's been checking she's it out in a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's just chilling though. Yeah, so she's we'll fine. probably take a break in between this one and mine so that we can go check on her. But bunch more rares i think we should be coming up this might be the last set of polls if i we'll didn't see. do i didn't count at all but i never count i've tried to yeah. record i forget after like no, three too many well the nice thing about these is you know it'll stop yeah well you'll see the dude so 
Beardle Fellhammer. I actually don't really know what he does. Another Whoa. Lego. Little Miss Annie. She's not the best, but a second legendary is a second legendary. That's the creepiest looking. Yeah, one. she oh, has yeah, some no, pretty creepy moves too. But <laughs> and she has heart. Yeah, she's oh. got a little heart. I think um she might see some play in Cursed City. What's up? It's the I don't do the whole like creepy kid yeah, thing or little, like dolls yeah. or like any. I hate that. Yeah. I guess um, she might be used for uh, Amius just because she has the heal reduction. I don't know. She's pretty squishy. Honestly, if this was my account, I'd be more psyched about the sham because I only have two right now. Um, and let's see if she was new as well. And it looks like it. Okay, boom. So, hey, you know what? Three legendaries out of 110 shards. You can't really ask Feels for much like more. So, yeah, the luck might be back. It was dragging for a while. Yeah, the there. luck was, was pretty not. rough for a little bit for us. So, it wasn't the best. Let's see what else. I also didn't set any champions in the uh, whatever it's called, the progressive thing, but I don't think he would have wanted them anyways. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, I know I don't. I don't want to put anyone in mine. And. Boom, just like that. So sweet. That was a huge success. Of course, uh, honestly, like this guy in Warlord, just like such a cool combo that he can do in Arena now that he wasn't able to before. But yeah, I'm super stoked to get him on my account. We're going to take a quick baby break and then we'll be right back. All right, we are back on my account this time. And... Like I said, I pulled for Fatalis uh, because I wanted a HP nuker, but with this dude around, it's going to be pretty sweet. So, at least since the other one went pretty well. Yeah, it's just gonna yeah, with the other nothing. one going well, like I don't think I'll get we'll anything. See. But we'll see. I think I'm 90 into Mercy, like I said before. So there's a really good chance. And worst case, then I'll just pull for a progressive for Acrisia. I think she's probably my most wanted. Ethlyn, the Golden. I know he was part of the progressive going on this weekend. Or she, I don't even know what it is, but... Um, Can you click, what will tell you if you click on it? Well, if you click on them, you might be able to see. Seer, great champion. I think this is actually the only only the second Seer I've pulled. My other one has the six-star crushing rend, which is really nice. Um, and a, another Runekeeper Dazdurk. So pretty good epic rates so far, which is really nice. And, oh yeah, I wanted to say too, I did end up going for the five star for the queen. I was, I didn't know, I was telling my wife like a couple weeks ago, like right when her fragment event started, I was like, yeah, I just don't know if I want to save my shards or if I want to try and pull for the archer because I don't have her. And I was like, you know, I can go for this girl and she's, it's pretty easy to get the fragments and then there's a chance that they might do a 10x or even a guaranteed for her partner and i was like i didn't think they were gonna do a guaranteed but of course like as you've seen all the cc's post like he's so good and her and him together is gonna be a, a really good combo for arena i was on like on the way home i think from our last appointment before the baby came yeah right yeah i think that was like two weeks ago or something Alrighty. We didn't get any golds. So no golds, guys. but it just takes one. I'd rather it be the last shard and it be someone good than... If you, um, if you could just get one gold right now, besides the guaranteed one, mm -hmm. which one would you want? This girl, Krizia, that I was talking about okay. earlier. Yeah. What if you got nut? You can't get him out of these. Oh. Yeah. That's a bummer. Oh, unfortunately, we can't How do you get, get him? him? Um, he's from different color shards. Oh. These ones are all like void. That's why they have the purple triangle. Mm -hmm. Lots of the blues. I feel like we're gonna do all the other everyone oh, else's I gotta is gonna make get space, so. everyone else is gonna get nice plenty of plenty of gold and you're gonna get just the guaranteed one. <laughs> That's all right. I'll still be happy if I just get him. All right, we made some more space. We've got forty more. Hopefully we get a gold, but sorry right if we don't. I'll be happy with just him. I honestly don't even have the legendary books to book up another champion. So I think I have 16 right now. And with uh, her and him needing books, it'll probably be a hot minute. Aila Life Braid? I don't think I have her yet. What does she do? Text one enemy, restores, destroyed max HP. That sounds like it could be okay. Text one enemy, increase accuracy and in places of sleep. And then block debuffs and a heal. 
and then instant turn effect on this champion or an ally after using an active skill. It's kind of interesting. Um, I I don't think she'll see much play because just being like a void epic, there's a lot of rooms that a lot of other champions will be uh, used for, like in place of someone like her. Again, thinking Curse City. All right. Lots of blues. <laughs> lots and lots of no lots gold. of blues. <laughs> Unfortunate. Runekeeper Daz Dirk again. And yeah, the last gold I got was in either November or December. It was the... I think it was the Guaranteed for Valkanen, and I got a Tormen. And it was right before they announced the tournament event. So I was pretty, I was super happy that I got him. And then I was kind of upset that yeah. they guaranteed another <laughs> tournament. And I ended up going for the second one as well. Frenzy the Crackler, or Cackler, I don't think I have him either. So Akumtum is actually a epic that oh, I would want. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, let's go, <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, my goodness. This is huge. Oh my gosh. No, I don't have enough books. <laughs> okay. So, of course, Georgia is considered probably the best nuker in the game. And then literally, like, three shards later, I get one of the best HP nukers. Holy crap. This is huge. So, uh, the reason he's so good, ignores strength and stone skin, unkillable, basically anything that protects a champion. And then he gets that extra turn if he kills an enemy. Has a chance of ignoring the defense on the enemies, this AoE that hits super hard, and then the uh, two-hitter with the 30% chance of hitting again. So, oh my gosh, him and the white uh, <laughs> king. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I got to take a screenshot to show. <laughs> Man, it is the polls for Arena today. So, <laughs> I like I said, though, like I don't care if we have to wait until basically Mercy, as long as it's a good one. And... He is insane. So, wow, that is a huge pull. I am super stoked about that. Um, we did get a couple new ones. I think this is the, yeah, the Cackler and Georgid and then that girl as well. So, yeah, oh, my goodness. This is so funny. So, I actually, my primary nuker for Arena is Georgid. And I'll just do this real quick just so you guys can see. But... I'm definitely thinking I'll switch out Georgia or uh, Baron. I think I called him Georgia the yeah. first time too. Um, but I'll probably switch out Baron just because he runs into some issues with champions that are in stone skin like this. Um, and yeah, so stuff like this will happen if he had the stone skin uh, or. Is that just a little a sheep? A little sheep, yeah. It's He just got it's sliced, like I think. One though. of the worst things in the game they <laughs> added so to. Cute. Um, not a great showcase of my team, but I just kind of chose whatever team I ran into. But, um, yeah, so Baron's really good for teams that are not in stone skin, but if they are in stone skin, I struggle quite a bit. So, Georgid will definitely help out with that. Man, my my tag teams are about to get so freaking beefy. Like, I, I kind of just threw some random teams in, and I know not, having a speed team is probably not the best idea, but... This is generally, like, roughly what I'm running. I just threw in um, Brogni because I needed one other champion to just make the team a little tanky. I don't know. It was a little weird. But with Georgid and the White King and the Queen, we are going to have some serious booking issues, but we're going to have some serious teams. Yeah, I have 16 right now, and I think her alone... Let me see. I think she's... I don't know if I ranked her up yet. Oh, I did. Okay, so she takes, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So she'll take ten. I'll have six left over. I, I don't know if I'll book her out first or what I'll do. But, um, yeah, so super sweet. We are uh, hopefully going to have some more accounts to pull shards for. And uh, I'm going to send my clan the screenshot of who I pulled and uh, who we pulled for Will. And hopefully that'll make them want shards. So <laughs> hopefully we'll be back. If not, see ya. All right. We are on a Roughneck's account to pull another 110 shards. Hopefully his pulls go as well as the ones earlier today. My wife can't be here because she's got to do baby duty. So let's get right into it. And hopefully we get him a gold. Um, he's looking for pretty much any of the top tier champions that you can imagine. I accidentally hit that, but oh well. 
crank a uh, pretty good uh, progressive HP burner. So if you need someone for Hydra and you're starting off, he's pretty good. My cat looks like she's going to come up here, which is pretty funny. Um, Nothing so far. Only one epic. Hopefully the luck didn't go with my wife as well, but I have a feeling it might have. Um, I don't know how close he is on Mercy. Cat's tail. Hopefully you can give us some luck. Her name's Callie. Put her down there. Two epics, man eater, a great one, three epics, and the cackler that we got on my account earlier too. Not bad. Pretty good rates, I feel like. That's what, four epics in 30 shards? So. We just need a gold, though. I think if I could choose what champion he got on his account, I think it would probably be Sulfurion, just because he's a really, really fun HP burn, like a really good support champion for Hydra, and also a really good damage dealer. So, Ruff has, like, crazy gear. He's got... Uh, I think a 600 mil damage team for hard, and then I don't know how much he does on Nightmare, but I know he has an Acrisia, so she's always going crazy, too. All right, Coldheart, Stitch Beast, Reliquary Tender. Reliquary Tender is, like, probably my favorite rare in the game. I know, like, I don't really use her anymore, but... As far as, like, when I first started my account, she was just super, super fun to use and, like, carried me a lot in a lot of the earlier stages, like, stage 16 up to 20. Bunch more blues. Demitha, of course, a fantastic epic with the block damage. I've got a couple of them, and they're built. The Cackler, again, coming out. Kind of funny, I, like, don't... I think he's relatively new, but I'm pretty surprised I've seen him so many times. All right, more blues. Nothing good yet, but it just takes one. We'll wait till the second to last shard if that means we get something good. Okay, I don't know what the rates are now, but I don't think they're as good as they were. Cardinal again, good champion for the reviving the team and having them all go. Rock Beast, Bulwark, also a pretty good rare. Oh, and I don't know if you can tell, but I swapped out my desk, and this one's a standing one, so I can do videos like while I'm standing, which makes it a lot nicer. So, all right, 10 left. I got to make some space really quick, and then I'll be right back. All right, last 10 pop. Hopefully we get something out of this one. Uh, you hate to go over 100 into your mercy, but... Tends to happen. Hopefully, though, if uh, if we don't get a gold in the next three, he can go for a 10x. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get anything. So, shoot. I was hoping for something decent. But, again, the White King Narcis coming to three new accounts for our clan, which is awesome. Um, yeah, definitely just, like, super fun champ. I was looking at builds earlier today, and I think I can get him around 250 speed over 100k health, and I think it was like 250 crit damage in lethal. So I might have to take some gear off of some other champions, but I think it's going to be worth it just to see how he does. So, all right, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.